Sorry about my voice. I've talked so much today that my voice is starting to go away, unfortunately, because I have had such a pleasure talking with everybody. And one of the people that I have stopped and I had a, a nice long conversation with was James from Innovatus Imaging. And these guys actually remanufacture imaging probes, which is baffling. It's absolutely baffling. If you knew how complex these probes were, you would you would be amazed. And you know, here's his contact info. These guys repair and or replace um, probes. They remanufacture parts of them. And they handed me this, which is such a cool thing. You guys know that I love gadgets. And this is one of the most original things I've seen handed out at a trade show. And basically, when you're at a trade show, most people will stop by and talk for five to 10 minutes. Me, obviously, a little bit longer, usually but five to 10 minutes and you don't convey an, your entire message. This little product right here solves that problem. It's very innovative and I'm gonna show it to you guys in its full context because I thought that this was such an excellent idea, especially when you have such a complex business model as these guys do. So let me show you exactly what it is. That's right. And it's actually got really good color. It, it plays as soon as you open it. How cool is this? How a lot of those processes and procedures apply to our repair engine in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So how does all this technology you're about to see set in Avatis Imaging apart? As an FDA registered manufacturer, we know what goes into the design and manufacturing of the probe. So why does all this technology matter to you? Because of all the engineering we do, our repairs are sustainable. They conform to OEM form, fit, and function. They're designed for longevity, and at the end of the day, they deliver patient care that is safe and effective and as the OEM intended. So I think the question a clinical engineer is gonna ask is, are the products that they're handing back to their healthcare providers clinically effective and safe? What we do in order to make sure that we can answer that question um, in a positive way is we make investments. Uh, we make investments in people, we make investments in technology, make investments in tools and equipment. Having a deep understanding of that technology, having all the tools that are necessary to make sure our products are fully qualified gives a clinical engineer uh, a high level of assurance that when that product ends up back in the hands of the healthcare provider, that product is going to be clinically safe and effective. So as we walk through our technical journey, uh, we have several pieces of equipment uh, and tools that are critical to our job, whether that job is designing, manufacturing, qualifying OEM products, or qualifying uh, a repair or repair solution. So we'll start with uh, acoustic power measurement. We have two primary pieces of equipment we use here. The first is a hydrophone tank. This allows us to three-dimensionally map the acoustic pressure field that comes from a transducer. And this can be used to derive key safety factors, mechanical index and thermal index that are used to ensure our products are safe. The other piece of equipment associated with acoustic power is a radiation force balance. This is a little bit of a simpler piece of equipment, but it's critical to the characterization of safety parameters for uh, a new or repaired device. A pulse echo tester is a critical piece of equipment for any array manufacturer. This allows us to apply a transmit pulse and record received characteristics on every element of every array that we manufacture ensuring that we have a consistent product and a product that performs as we expect it to. The cable flux tester, also known as a TikTok test, is a great tool for characterizing the longevity and life of a cable. Anytime we repair a, a cable or a bend relief, we'll often like to qualify them on a device like this to make sure that the product that ends up in the field is robust and that we provide it a sustainable repair. By rigorously testing our designs, both for OEMs and repairs, we ensure that our products are highly robust will provide an excellent return on investment for our customers. Regulatory standards prescribe very clear limits on maximum transducer face temperature. Innovatus has all the equipment and expertise that's necessary to measure face temperature in air and on tissue mimicking material as prescribed by the standards to ensure that our final products, both for OEMs and for repair, are safe for our customers. 
In support of our array manufacturing for both OEMs and the repair industry, we use semiconductor dicing saws to manufacture the tiny elements that are critical to the function for ultrasound transducers. These saws can dice curves that are fractions of a human hair in width and ensure accuracy of microns over the length of the array. This is critical to the function of the array to ensure proper image quality over the life of a product. This level of accuracy is critical for us to ensure that over time our arrays perform as expected and provide world-class image quality. We hope it's been helpful for you to see some of the equipment and tests and qualification that are brought to bear on the products that we deliver back to you. Innovata shares your concern for clinical effectiveness, safety, and maximizing return on investment. My name is John Hoffman. I'm the general manager for the Tulsa Center of Excellence of Ultrasound Repair for Innovatus Imaging. So when I started over 15 years ago, we had a shop of about 20 folks about across the street and moved over into this 25,000 square foot that facility. That is amazing. And Look at that facility. as the business grew and as our relationships grew with our customers, what we saw was a true need in that the industry for high quality repairs. One of the things we realized early on is that the OEMs do not sell parts of their probes. What you need for high quality repair solutions is your own solution. One of the largest challenges about supply chain is that you're dependent on other other people outside your business. In today's day and age, that isn't always a guarantee. So an advantage we have here is that we're self-contained as much as possible. We build our own parts and we have a strong validation and verification around those parts that we use and we have the supply chain at hand when needed. Now we won't be able to show you everything you might want to see today due to proprietary equipment, processes, procedures, as well as intellectual property. But if you're interested in seeing more, please make accommodations and reach out directly to Innovatus and we're happy to show you what we do on a more detailed basis. The first stop on our technology journey today will be our wiring line. This is the lifeblood of the business. As you can see, there is a terrific amount of detail and technical skill required to do this job. On top of that, we have to have this a is very the part that a lot of companies have problems with is the training wiring to make sure that we're consistently putting safe parts out that perform as you expect them to. The level of detail, the type of training, these are all things that are hyper important to delivering quality repairs each and every time something is processed. Each wire connection, which these micro axes are the size of a, of a human hair, have to be laid down exactly correctly in the correct order is supremely important in getting a consistent, safe product out on the other side. So as you look Absolutely down the amazing. wire line, you can see that each workstation has a set of equipment that is critical to delivering quality parts. One of those things is the LCD panel that has our proprietary processes that show the pinouts, wire diagrams for each separate model that we have capabilities and support as a business. The second stop is the evaluation and quality assurance area. And when Probe arrives here, it gets a thorough set of testing from a lot of proprietary equipment and the testing procedures. However, we also want to see it just as the customer seeing it in the end user scenario, which is the system itself. Um, the function test is obviously extremely important, and we want to make sure we're seeing what the customer is seeing when they decide to pull a piece of equipment off the line and send it into us for repair. As a hub of our repair center, the evaluation area is also responsible for when a probe is actually finished and ready to go back to a customer. This involves additional function, image testing, quality assurance testing, electrical safety testing, and a host of other things. The third area is the machine shop. In an effort, again, to keep our internal supply chain and supporting the business, we have to have a robust set of different pieces of equipment and a highly skilled set of folks doing those jobs day in, day out. If you look at the CNC machine, those parts that we make are set up to meet form, fit, and function of the parts they're replacing. We also use the machine shop to support and in turn the full supply chain back to Denver. Part of the machine shop's responsibility is manufacturing parts that ultimately end up going back for the manufacturing support of our Denver facility as well. So our machine shop acts as a bridge to the business and supports our supply chain critically in areas that we can't find out off-the-shelf solutions in the marketplace. By utilizing Innovatus Imaging for probe repair, you're not only going to get amazing. a sustainable they have their own machine repair, shop but maximum creating return parts. on investment, longevity, a safe, effective product that performs as the OEM intended.
So guys, that is Innovatus Imaging, and that is what they handed to me today. And it's really cool because it's got a little charge port down there. You can charge it up. Since I love trinkets, of course, I'm going to figure out why and how does that work. It doesn't use pull tabs, which normally there'd be a pull tab in here. Instead, I notice a little slight indent right here, and that means that there's probably a magnet here in the pane. When you close it, there's a little Hall effect sensor that picks that up and it shuts it off and it resets it every time you open it. What a cool idea. Anyway guys, that's Innovatus. The contact that I spoke with is an excellent guy. His name is James Ashbro. Here's his contact info. What an excellent company, man to be so innovative with their product development and then at the same time with their marketing material. That's an absolute win, guys. Innovative.